Ringo, uh, some say Octopus's Garden is a confession to your war crimes that you committed in Cambodia during the Civil War. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I never thought of it that way. I didn't commit any war crimes. If you say otherwise, I might have to sue you. What's a war crime? What's a war crime? Oh, you know, I've always, I've always interpreted as war crimes as a matter of opinion, not as a matter of fact, you know? So really, they were just me acting out when I was in a bad mood. It wasn't really war crimes. I was and just yes, moody. I, yes, I, I fought for the Japanese army in World War II. What, what about it? I won't, I won't go into detail about what I did, but, uh, I won't go into detail about what I did as a field officer in Nanjing. I don't feel I have to. You should know. I brought terror and pain upon my enemies. A <laughs> strange bloke, that one. Strange bloke, that one. John, are you, are, are you sure we should get this R Ringo guy on our band? He's an odd bloke, that one. Look at it. Look at his nose. Oh, um, John, you worry too much, John. He's fine. Just because you got a big nose don't make him a serial killer or nothing. <laughs> Little did they know. <laughs> John, why are, why, why are you looking at us like that? Because I saw him cutting up seven bodies the other day. Uh, <laughs> Do you watch hentai? They were. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they were five year old Indian children. <laughs> Hindus. They were Hindus. And then. He, he has an odd fascination with, with devil worshipping. Guys, look, I wrote a song. It's called, it's called Octopus's Garden. I helped him write half of it. Oh, no you didn't, George, I wrote it by myself. Okay, we'll say that on the album. But I, I wrote most of it. Show me. George, you crazy character. What if the guitar solo for Octopus's Garden starts playing whenever you encounter Ringo Starr in the wild? <laughs> what? In the like, wild? You know, in the wild, you know, like, um, like you encounter him or whatever, and like it and it zooms in on his face so I can fall out or whatever <laughs> and it starts playing the, <laughs> the guitar solo for Octopus's Garden okay he looks at you and he's like you're about to die now aren't you? rather old isn't it? strange bloke that one I don't know if we should put Ringo on a band he, he's an old one look at him I heard he's a serial killer Fifteen people have all he did down in down in Blokenshire Passway in the, in Birmingham Pass. He did. He looks like he eats children. I uh, I've heard that he does eat children. <laughs> That's what you say about everyone, George. No, I've seen it. I've seen him eat eat babies. <laughs> Oh, I kind of hate Pete best, so so we probably should get rid of him and put Ringo on it. Strange. Yeah, okay. Odd bloke, odd bloke. He was an odd bloke, though. <laughs> Pete Best sucks. Are you guys talking about Octopus Garden? That was five minutes ago. Now I found out how Ringo's a serial killer. <laughs> Again. <laughs> hey, fellas. I like to imagine Ringo tried to pitch Octopus's Garden for every single album, and they just let him do it on Abbey Road, because they didn't care. Hello. Why well, I did Octopus's Garden? It's a good idea. Good idea. You're gonna have to take all the pot about... Take all the pots out about uh, eating babies. 
What? Do no. Let's just keep them in. No, oh, keep the baby in. It, 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 people like that stuff, don't they? People are weird yeah. now. It's quite old, isn't it? <laughs> Haven't you heard Trap Mask Replica? They talk about even crazier stuff than eating babies. But, but Ringo, here's the difference, you actually do it, they don't. <laughs> you don't know that. <laughs> you don't know that. You yeah. my first born. <laughs> Ringo, is this true? <laughs> I'll never tell. <laughs> you guys remember that one time we met? We met a little kid and I elbowed him in the face so hard it caused him to break his entire face. Hey Dan. Hmm? Fuck you. <laughs> what were you saying, White? Yoko, Ringo's coming to spend the Ringo's coming to spend the night tonight. We're gonna have to lock all the doors. <laughs> oh, John. Cause it past eight AM he tries to kill everybody. He's insane, Yoko. He's gonna walk around, he, he puts on these big boot, big old boots, and he just walks around the hallway. It's quite terrifying. It? <laughs> Yoko, you don't understand, he did this all the time when we were on tour, he almost killed Bob Dylan when we met him. Why do I have to lock the door, John? We just have guns. Because the yeah, okay, bullets don't work on him. <laughs> well, what do you mean? <laughs> He's not of this world, the okay. <laughs> He will kill us and all in our children. <laughs> he will be the end of the Lennon family if we had so let him. What? Oh, John? Yoko, you don't want to mess with him. He is insane. There it goes on now! I'm telling you, Yoko, he's a really odd bloke. You don't need to go near him. Linda, I'm gonna have to lock the doors. Ringo's coming over. Why are we going to lock the doors? We don't ring up again. You've never been in a room by yourself with him at night. Some, somehow during our tour he was in an entirely separate hotel room with the you nose. Know, somehow he managed to get under my bed. I don't know how he did it, but he was under my bed and I looked under there and I saw his putrid nose. <laughs> Nicking at me like a rat. He's gonna kill me, Linda. Now, you know some hey Jude is based off of I'm based off of Julie and Lennon and based off of all the kids he made him mate. He ate them alive, Linda. He ate the boys and girls alive with his Ringo teeth. He's an odd bloke, isn't he? <laughs>